Our second witness is Sarah DeMint, owner of the Beachmore Inn in Agonquit, Maine. She's a third generation innkeeper. For 76 years, members of Ms. DeMint's family have owned and operated, operated the Beachmere Inn, which is located 87 miles north of Boston on the coast of Maine. Ms. DeMint was honored recently with a Real Hero Award from the American Red Cross of Maine Southern Maine Chapter for assistance she provided to the families affected by Hurricane Sandy. Welcome. You have five minutes to present your testimony. Thank you for having me, Chairman Rice and ranking members of the committee. As you have heard, I am a third generation hotel owner from Ogunquit, Maine. It's not easy to say. And I do appreciate you inviting me here to speak to you about seasonal employment needs. We operate a year round 73 room property in Agunquit. We have been using H2B program on and off for over 10 years as we have had a very difficult time hiring seasonal workers to support our housekeeping needs during the peak summer and fall seasons. This year we had to drop out of processing due to the application that was stuck in limbo when the DOL stopped processing earlier this year. We could not wait with uncertainty to find out if we would get our approvals. Gunkwood is located only 87 miles north of Boston and six hours from New York City. Yesterday I left my office at 1030 and I was in downtown DC by 3. We are a very popular community resort. We operate at almost 100 percent occupancy for July, August and September, dropping down to a nice 85 percent occupancy in October. That is a lot of guests, rooms, meals and amenities that we provide daily. Tourism is the primary industry in our region and is the number one industry in Agunquit. We have 1,100 residents in Agunquit. We have 44 restaurants and over 2,500 hotel rooms. I clearly do not pull from our local community in order to assist us for hiring. There are many neighboring towns to compete with for employees. Kennebunk, York, Wells, Biddeford all pull from one area that has the most employees to offer for hiring, and that is Sanford, Maine, a community of approximately 22,000 residents. That is a big town for us. From Portland, Maine to New Hampshire border, there are 18,000 hotel rooms that need to be cleaned on a daily basis during the summer and the fall season. Starting level housekeeping wages earn anywhere from $9 to $10 to start. I have never paid minimum wage since I have joined the business in 1995. We currently have 14 housekeepers, but we need 17 to run our operations smoothly. As we employ mostly working mothers, we make accommodations for part-time and flexible hours to keep them, um, to keep them employed year-round. We are a year-round business. We offer benefits for our employees retirement plans, vacation pay, sick time, and, review, and reviews to keep them, um, to encourage growth and leadership within our, the departments. H2B workers are essential to our operation, and they are seen by our employees as a critical backup they need during the summer and fall months. I have tried to recruit in many ways for seasonal housekeeping. I do the normal advertising through the Internet, adver, um, newspapers, and so forth. But I have also tried to reach out to college students. Unfortunately, the closest educational facility is 22 miles, but yet takes 40 minutes to commute from. College students are focused on resume building starting in freshman year. They are primarily taking internships during the day and working a job at night. Housekeeping needs to be done during the day. Last weekend, I tried to recruit house, uh, high school graduates while I attended my cousin's graduation in Bangor, Maine and not one student was interested coming down to work for the summer as a housekeeper. We have also tried to recruit in northern Maine, where I placed ads up in the county, bringing a few which brought in a few interested applicants. But unfortunately, because it is a seasonal job and the high cost of housing in a very resort community, I was not able to bring them down for the short term that they would be here. The complications of bringing their family or leaving them behind quickly made these jobs undesirable. H-2B workers are paid the same rate as those we hire from the American workforce. They are in some instances even paid more as they have been returning for season after season. We built new housing for them in 2008, some with ocean views, all within a 100-foot walk of our property. They are eligible for retirement benefits, workers' comp insurance, bonuses, as well as weekly shopping trips 
to be able to purchase for their families at home. Hiring H2B workers is not easy or inexpensive. We pay up to $3,100 in agency fees, as well as $1,700 in U.S. CIS fees related to processing of that paperwork. All transportation is paid by, the, by us to and from their home country. Prevailing wage that was determined for us earlier this year before we dropped out was $9.39 an hour. That was in February. It was then revised to $10.54 an hour in May. That is an increase of $1.15 an hour. I am well into my season at that point. I have already published my rates, and I have already hired and have committed to hotel rooms at rates. I am not able to change my revenues based on change in costs for employees. The impact of not having H2B workers for our property this season is already being felt. We have had to move to a six-day work week. We are pulling employees from various departments, and we are not able to have full coverage in all of the areas. That means that both my GM as well as myself are cleaning rooms. Not having seasonal coverage puts my entire team at a, at a pace that is not conducive to lasting the season. Housekeeping is not an easy, sedentary job. H2B workers come with the knowledge that they are here for a short time to help us cover a seasonal job. Thank you for your time, and I am happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Mrs. 